Hey, what's up? I'm Don Carr, and we're here with another round of What's on Your Pedal Board. Today, I'm with Andrew Plasma. Hey, it's good to be here. Man, good to see you, Andrew. Yeah, Thanks I'm, for coming by, man. I'm very excited about this. Yeah, yeah. So, Andrew is a sales engineer here at Sweetwater, yeah. and so you see a lot of stuff come by. I do, yes. I see a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I've been here for almost a decade now, so... Oh, wow. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff. And I mean, obviously, I was a guitar player before then, too, so right. I've been... I've always been really, really deep into pedals and amps and guitars and all that stuff and, nice. and being here and going through all the training. Uh, yeah, I get to I get to try it all. Yeah, you do, you do. So it's always interesting to find out what somebody like you actually settles on. Yeah. You know, what makes sense to you and how it works. And so what do we got here, man? Let's talk about this. All right, so I'm, uh, I'm actually involved in a, a few different gigs around town um, and I, I'm a church musician as well. So this, this rig, this is what I use for worship music. Nice. Um, yeah, and it's it's basically been the same for the past three years or so. Wow. I'm, I'm a, yeah, I'm not, I love gear, mm -hmm. and I love finding new pedals and trying new stuff, uh, but I'm I'm not super into changing things. Once I find something I like, I just kind of leave it, you know? Man, I hear you. I'm the same way. Yeah. I really am. Yeah. It's like I rarely change my pedal board. Yeah. Every once in a while, I'll try something new, and I'll usually go, eh. Yeah. yeah. So it's been this way for about three years. Uh, the only thing that will change every so often, uh, that 3D Shaman uh, chorus, mm -hmm. uh, every once in a while I'll swap it out with a, uh, with a tremolo. Mm -hmm. um, but I've been, uh, for the past year, super into chorus and vibrato. Cool. It's a lot of fun. So Nice. Um, so the signal flow. Mm -hmm. Signal flow is uh, compressor first, that ego compressor. Right. Um, and then into the Dunlop volume, my tuner is... Uh, Side chain, side off chain. That. yep, nice. Uh, and then into the hot wired, mm -hmm. and then I go out of that into the front end of the Venus Dew. Nice. And that's my that's my preamp section. If okay. I don't use any of the any of the preamp section of the Pubster that's below it. Got it. So I go into the front end of the Venus Dew, yep. and then I go out of the effects send on that okay. back to the board where it goes into that uh, that little black amp box from JHS. Ah. It's an attenuator. Um, the, the reason I use that is the hotter I run that amp, the hotter the signal is coming back. And if you're not careful, you can easily clip those H9s. They oh, don't like got it. really, really hot signals. Right, right. So that's uh, like your effects send return kind of level. Exactly. Yeah, these amps don't have that. Right. So it, it works out good. And it worked out good because I needed a place to plug into the side. And nice. it just, it fit. Yeah. So. Well, and the look, right? The look. I mean, the aesthetic. Yeah, it's you all got to be yeah, neat and tidy. It's I really clean, geek man. out on that. I love zip ties. I love straight cables. I love it's yeah. <laughs> I uh, see that. Yeah, yeah. I see that. So it goes in into that where then it goes to the uh, the shaman, mm -hmm. the chorus, okay. where it splits the stereo, nice. and then into the even tied stereo, and then out of the even tied into the reverb, and then it goes back to the Riveras, and it goes to the return of the Venus do yep. and the return of the Pubster. Nice. So all I'm using the Pubster for is is power the power section. section. Yep. Um, yeah. So that's how that uh, that's how that, how that whole thing is set up. Nice, man. Very tidy. Very purposeful. You got a lot of flexibility and a lot of options there if you yeah. want it. But I but I can you know from what I heard earlier, it just sounds like you're using the even tide for for delay, and mm -hmm. then of course you've got reverb and chorus, and man, it's just getting you where you need to go. Yeah, uh, I'm a. There's a big a big trend in the worship guitar world for giant pedal boards, sure. and I'm all for it. I think yeah. it's cool. Yeah. Uh, for me personally. I'm I'm more in the camp of I've got I've got one sound that I'm going to use through the entire worship set because on a Sunday morning we're playing three or four songs. Right. You know what I mean? I want the consistency mm -hmm. of the guitar tone to mm -hmm. follow through that. Sure. So I don't need four overdrives. I don't need yeah. a bunch of different delays. Right. I don't need a bunch of different styles of reverb. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want it because, again, it's consistent yeah. from the beginning of the set to the end. Right. And it's just extra crap I don't. I don't want to worry about. I don't want to <laughs> yeah. worry about what overdrive is on or what reverb I'm using or if I have the right delay preset on. I don't want to worry about any of that. Well, and you you can carry it in easily, one hand. You yeah. Know? I mean, that's the other thing. It's not taking up a lot of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of I drive of space. a Honda Civic. Right. So, <laughs> and I can fit I can fit this and all that and uh, and a cabinet and two guitars and uh, a uh, passenger as well. If Amazing. I all in my Civic. So that's that's my uh, that's my my whole concept, my thought process um, behind it. For me, as a musician, in my workflow as a guitar player and creating sounds, uh, this is this is the bare bones of what I need. Cool, you know? cool. And let's, I, and I, man, let's hear it. Okay, let's, hear let's it. do that. Seriously. So um, the uh, 
again, the first pedal, it's that compressor. I rarely ever, I don't think I actually, I don't think I ever use the compressor by itself. I always have channel one on the hot wired. It's on for my cleans. It's on for everything all the time. Cause you're, I'm using the volume yep. control a lot. Yep. Uh, well, the vo yeah, the, uh, the volume pedal there. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I've always, I've always struggled with being able to get go from like a good clean sound and then turning on an overdrive and having those two sounds like blend Coexist, together. Yeah. yeah. And it's always like pretty clearly obvious. Right. You right. had a clean and now there's an overdrive pedal on. Yeah. I want it to be smooth. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's why I do that. Um, but yeah, the, uh, uh, compressor sounds great. It does its job. Yeah. It compresses. Um, but let's listen to it with this cause this is, this is how I use it. And actually when I use the compressor, I use, use it with a slide. That's the only time I ever use the compressor is when I'm using slide. Oh, okay. For the, for ambient the, stuff. the ambient stuff, the whale sounds. Yeah, there that's you what, go. uh, that's what I refer to them as. So. Yep. Awesome, man. Pretty Sounds basic great. stuff, yeah. yeah. And um, in this guitar, mm -hmm. I should mention the guitar yeah, real quick. Please do. Uh, it's um, uh, it's just a 2011 standard from the Telebration, uh, and I have a four-way switch in it. Oh. And the fourth position is uh, both pickups in series. Oh, nice. And when I do slide stuff, I usually do that just because right. it gives a little bit more beef to it. Mm -hmm. A little warmer, so, a little more output. Yeah. Yeah. So I use the compressor, fourth position. Um, yeah. Cool. So that's that. Um, and then for all my just my rhythm sounds, yeah. uh, again, it's just it's just this pedal. Works sounds good, yeah, uh, and great, like man. I was saying for the for the clean stuff, um, if uh, if you if you back off the volume a little bit, these right. these hot wires super dynamic, yeah, and I, I love it, yeah, yeah so, real open sounding man, yeah, so you go from this, even you just you, you barely back off the volume and it's clean, yeah, you know? so. Yeah, um, so I use the hot wired in a in an interesting way. Mm -hmm. Channel two mm -hmm. has never really worked so well for me in uh, in a in a worship environment. Okay. The it's a little bit mid scoopy, yeah, is what right, I find, right. which is cool for like rock rhythm and stuff like sure. that. Um, but it just it tends to get a little bit lost. So uh, channel one's on all the time. I use channel two with the drive way down on it, which is it's. The, actually the higher gain side of the pedal, right. but I use the drive way down, volume up, uh, and that's that's my boost for any type oh, of for okay. any type of solo. So. So just a sweet little little yeah, boost. Yeah, yeah works nice, well, man. and it's it's still it keeps the character from running the channel one into channel two that way. Mm -hmm. uh, it keeps the, the overall tonal character of channel one. Right. So you got that mid push. Right. Right. Uh, so you still cut through, but you get the volume the volume bump. Right, yeah, and especially with yeah. the lower gain setting, the, the sound of the circuit itself mm -hmm. isn't influencing it as much. Yeah, exactly. That's what I meant to say. In that's what I meant to say. Influencing, yes. Not influencing it as much. Yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so that's that. And then uh, again, chorus. I've been loving yep. chorus. So ah, much. Good for you. Uh, this Rivera chorus, as if you can't tell already, I'm a Rivera fanboy, and yeah, yeah. Paul Junior. Senior, those ah, those them, guys are great boys. Um, yeah, they do really, really good work, and have been doing great work for a long, long time. Yeah, like Definitely. OG, like amp, yeah. uh, amp builders. Yeah. I mean, they they really pioneered it, kind of, and I think it's the it's the pinnacle, in my opinion. Cool. Uh, waving the flag, man. Waving like the it. flag. I, I like always it. do, man. I preach it, man. Rivera. <laughs> yeah. It's as good as it gets. I sweet. mean, I think, you know. Yeah, so sweet, anyway, man. Uh, so uh, Rivera Chorus, it's, I use it really subtly. I don't want to get too, you know, I was born in 88, but I'm not, you know, I'm not real big into the 80s chorus thing. I mean, I technically I'm an 80s baby, but just but barely. Not real. Yeah. So uh, if you, so without it. 
then with it here. Super subtle. Very, very subtle. But uh, yeah, it you, gives it a little motion. Yeah, you know. a little bit. And they have this panoramic mode to switch on it. I turn that on. I think it makes it wider, more panoramic. Cool. I think it sounds better. I actually don't know what it does, but I should leave it on. Yeah. On is good. On is good, on yeah. Is good. So. Uh, and then the vibrato setting, I've been using uh, quite a bit for single note stuff in the background mm -hmm. um, uh, or even if, uh, if there's a specific lead line or hook for the song, yeah. um, I've, been, I've been enjoying that. So I use a pretty drastic setting. Almost, almost Leslie-like. Yeah, pretty you know? watery. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's that. Cool, cool. Uh, and the RV6, right. you, it's not, you can't play worship music without a, a reverb, a boss reverb with the modulated setting. You know what I mean? It is like, that is, it yeah. is worship it's music. It's in the handbook, isn't it? If you, it's in it's the, in handbook. the handbook, I think. Um, so yeah, it's the modulated setting. Um, I have the mix real low, decay real high. Um, I have it pretty bright. I used to use a lot of dark reverbs and then um, I just found that it just it got it got almost too washy. It was too. It gets it yeah. can get cloudy, man. Especially with a longer dark reverb, man. If you're yeah. not just playing big space, if you're playing anything with any motion in it, and yeah. you tend to like a good chirpy kind of thing, yeah. man. I could I could see where a dark reverb would get yeah you know, get pretty mushy. Yeah. So it's uh it's very. We'll turn this off so you can hear a little bit better. But we'll even turn this off here. Really subtle. Yeah. Right. It's barely yeah. there, yeah. but. It works. Yeah. You know, modulated reverb, yep. worship music. Yep. That's it. Go, so yeah, and the, of course, got a you know a shout out, honorable mentions to the TU2, keeping mm -hmm. people in tune for mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. It's exceptional. Mm -hmm. I like the older one. I think it sounds better than the new one. <laughs> there you go, Whatever. man. What are you gonna do, right? Yeah. And uh, Voodoo Labs power. <laughs> yep. Voodoo Labs power. Yeah. Yep. That's perfect because that's all you need. You don't. You know, that's powering your board completely. Yeah. You know, so it's not like you need a bigger power supply. So yeah. that's that's the great thing about, you know, the modular sizes and you know, of course Google Lab does plenty of those, so that's great, man. Yeah, yeah. And uh when it when it comes to when it comes to, to building out a board, right. I uh I think we talked about this orientation of pedals. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'll sacrifice tone of a pedal. I might like a I might like a certain pedal better than another, but if it if it doesn't if I have to mount it sideways, I can't <sighs> do that. I can't have a sideways uh, pedal. Can't have I know, a sideways I know. I've pedal. seen your, your rig run oh, down. Oh, dude, man, mine is yeah, mine's brutal, man. <laughs> I've seen some sideways pedals. I ain't judging. No, I know. But, it's hard. It's hard for you though, isn't it? Like well, watching my, like looking at my pedal board. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's difficult. I, I understand. Some that, guys man. get, you know, you know, the thing that really gets me. The anybody who uses a sideways mounted tuner, mm -hmm. those people, I, I don't want to have anything to do with them. How do you do? <laughs> can't that? hang. I can't. It just. Anyway. Yeah. How do you look at a yeah. sideways tuner? So. Never, I, I used to not be as OCD about having everything neat and clean and tidy, but the amount of times that I had played shows where something failed, and it's yeah. just like, oh, man, if I just yeah. would, if I just would have spent a little bit more time making it right, getting it just right, um, exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah, and that's you know George L. Cable, that's all I use George L. Cable, yeah, um, I've used George L. for I don't know, probably 12, 13 years, something like that, yeah, and. Um, if you if you make the cable right the first time, if you take your time making it right, they, I've never had a George L fail on. Man, me, that's never. great. They're that's super great. reliable. You can make it all uh, uh, really neat and tidy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can custom link to everything, and yeah. the fact that the the cable is so flexible too. Yeah, you know, it's so, really nice. So that's how I got that's how I got on the train of that, and then zip tying everything. Yep. I don't know. It's just, yeah. When you open it up and you see it, and it's just and oh, it's clean and it's, it's perfect. So you beautiful. know, it works. You know, that, that's funny you say that because I'm the same way about the functional part of it. I'm just not that way about the look of it. Yeah. But I have, I have to know everything works right. But once it get, once I get to that point, it's like whatever it looks like. It's like, yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So, and especially actually with this next board, we'll yeah. show you. Yeah. Um, I spent, man, I bet you it was, it was six months of like time 
trying to choose the right pedals, trying to figure out the orientation, yeah. how everything's going to fit. because oh, it's going to be good. People. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's really, <laughs> it's probably the most efficient pedal board I've ever seen. I'm just going to throw that out there. Well, okay. I don't know. Okay, so we're now we're just talking about it. We got to see this yeah. thing. Let's all right. see it. All right, we'll Let's see, see it. it. We'll see that. But okay. hold, before we get to it, all right. so I, I I spent I spent six months time. I spent hours building this thing, and I show it to my wife, and I'm like, look at this thing. Look at how beautiful this is. Mm -hmm. And she was like, really? We could have been like Netflix and chilling right now, <laughs> and you spent six hours doing that. Oh, I'm like, not, yeah, not you're to not, mention the money. Yeah, you're not oh. proud of me. Oh, we didn't. The money, oh. we don't talk about. Oh, okay, that. I got good. no. That's I good. yeah. That's, you get a free pass on the money. Discussed. Free. Okay. <laughs> free free pass on that. It's not discussed. Anyway, let's pull that thing out. Let's take a look let's at do it. it. All right. When you first showed me this pedal board, my initial reaction was almost an out loud laugh. Yeah. I love this. This makes me so happy in such a silly way. So please explain to the people. Okay, so uh, this, this board, it was, it was purpose built for uh, a gig that I was uh, involved with for a while. Actually, I'm not with the band anymore. Life, busy, you know, I got too much other stuff going on, so I had to, had to give it a little break. But I used this for about three years, and um, it, again, hasn't really changed, because like we talked about before, I don't, I find what I like, I just keep it. I love to experiment with all the new pedals and play with them, sure. and it's all fun, but sure. so it hasn't really changed at all. Um, and it was six months in the making, uh, and a lot of cardboard cutouts measuring the exact size of pedals and like trying to figure out how it all fits on here. Mm -hmm. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, this is, this is my board that I, that I use for that band. We were playing R and B and stuff like that. Now the trick to this is it's not just on the front, it's also on the back. So I've got, I've got it loaded up underneath and, uh, I have an MXR tap tempo mounted on the side. Yeah, right here with the giant button. With on the it, which you got to put the giant button. Got to put the because it's button. it's easy to miss. Yeah. Uh, otherwise you're using the side of your foot. Right. So the tap tempo there uh, is to work with the uh, Echoplex delay. Perfect. So uh, I'm sure the internet has uh, seen a, a more efficient board somewhere. Probably. Sure. I I would love to I would love to see that. So if somebody has a more efficient board than this. Post it in the comments, please, or Bring tag on. us on Facebook yeah, or something, because because I want to see. know. Because I'm I am proud of this. You should and I, be. When I when I made this, I showed this off more than when my daughter was born. <laughs> oh man! I, and I I love her, but and I I really I really do love her. Um, she's the best. But this board is incredible, and I spent a lot of time on it. And uh, yeah. yeah, so yeah, no, so we'll no, talk. It's, it's good. It's man to me. What I love is that is that you had a problem yeah and you went about the most efficient way of solving it and you didn't care how long it took or what the details were you wanted the end result to be a specific thing man that's what that's what I love about this yeah. and it's it, it was really killing me because it's exactly like what my dad would have done if my dad would have helped me build my pedal board he wouldn't have let me get away with the crap I'm oh. getting away with oh yeah he my, would have, he, it would have looked a lot more like this yeah 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 my dad the same way he's an electrical engineer yeah. and yeah he's He's so he's he's proud of me too. That's uh, another thing. I was like, Dad, look what I did, and he's just like, Oh, son, I'm proud of you. Chip off the old yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, great, man. Uh, so let's talk uh, signal flow real yeah, quick. Yeah, please. All right. So it starts um, back here or underneath the board. Uh, we've got this one control junction box, okay. which uh, you know, Voodoo Labs makes the dingus now. Have yeah. you seen that? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I have this in there already, but I kind of want to get the dingus because of the name. I think it's hilarious. Well, and it, <laughs> it matches the board. And it matches the board. <sighs> but Very anyway, important. the one control junction box, it works great. So I've got, um, you go in there, uh, and then I go to, uh, the first thing I go to actually is, uh, my, is my WA. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a mini 535Q. Cool. Uh, so I go to there, and then back underneath, mm -hmm. we go to the uh, Concord utility oh, okay. buffer, Great. which notice Great. the writing is upside right, right? Of course. All the pedals have the orientation. It's important. Yeah. It's key. So uh, then it goes to the Concord buffer, mm -hmm. and then it goes back around, okay. and then we go into this one control. It's an iguana tail loop. Oh, nice. So it's just on um, for everything. It's just a true Great. bypass looper. Great. Passive. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I've got my tuner and my mute here so i got it's a polytune mini the right. original one right again I, I like old tuners you know, like the tu2 like the they just sound the, the original tune and and you know oriented the right way oriented not the right sideways. way dude if this not was sideways, sideways i would burn this board oh I yeah, would, yeah. No, Trash. i can't do that yeah. <laughs> so i've got so it goes uh, so that's the, that's the tuner mute mm -hmm. um 
first button is uh, my loop one is my SP comp. Okay. Loop two is the Tumnus. Mm -hmm. uh, which the Tumnus, I just got to say, what, uh, is it Byron Wampler? Is that his name? Yeah. By Byron? Byron? I think that's Byron it. Wampler? Yeah. Dude's a genius. This pedal Wampler. rocks. Wampler. Uh, Wamp Swampler. 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 Uh, Wampler. <laughs> Brian. Swing it's Dinger. Brian. Sw Brian. Uh, Brian. Brian Swingdinger. Brian, That's Brian, it. Sw Brian Swingdinger. <laughs> Brian Swingdinger. Brian Wampler, dude. Yeah, we love Brian. Yeah, we love you, uh, and and I love you from the bottom of my heart. No, really, this pedal, this pedal is incredible. I love it. Um, the uh, Loop Three is the S, uh, SL drive. Right. Killer drive. Marshall in yep. a box. Yep. It's it's awesome. Um, loop Four. We go back around. And we're back. Um, to the Phase 95. Cool. Um, which is amazing phaser. It really it is. is. So good. It really is. It's surprising because you think something in the mini box, eh, maybe, maybe yeah. not, man. No, yeah, they it's, killed it's it. killer. Yeah. So that's the uh, Phase 95. And then uh, Loop 5 mm -hmm. is my tremolo, mm -hmm. which is uh, it's, uh, it's a Cusack tremolo. Cool. John Cusack makes awesome stuff. Dude, his stuff is killer. It really is. I who met, knew? I met him. Yeah, who knew? No, I met him a few years ago, and uh, he's a super nice guy. His pedals sound great, and he this whole line of the never off stuff is really cool. So there's no switch on it. You've got level control, depth, speed, and then you've got a three way switch for mm -hmm. sine wave, uh, square wave, and then it's like random or a square wave and saw or something. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So oh, yeah, so you got three different waveforms. The main thing yeah. is though, again, size because without the switch, it's taking up less space, yeah. and so you get the extra control. Yeah, exactly. And you don't need the switch because you're using a switcher. Yeah, and I'm not one with um, this has a tap tempo input on it, which yeah. is which is cool. Yeah. I thought about making like a custom cable right, so right. I could have the tap tempo work with this and that, but then right. I realized I don't need tap tempo tremolo. You know, you set it yeah. and leave it, and right. it is what it is. Same thing yeah. with the phaser. That's why I leave yeah. this under the board because I don't ever adjust it. I've got right. it set to one setting. I like it. You found your sound, and, and that's that. And leave it. Yep. Yeah. So then, uh, so then from the trem, we come back around. Um, and then uh, the Echoplex delay, phenomenal. Yes, I know you indeed. love this. Pedal. I love the sound I love of that pedal, pedal, man. Yes, love the sound of that uh, pedal. Just the, the little bit of sway that's in those delays yeah. is just gorgeous. It's man. perfect. Yeah. So uh, Echoplex, and then MXR reverb, and this reverb it blows my mind. I love this reverb so much. <laughs> yeah, it's a good um, one, man. Yeah, the thing that the thing that's neat about this, the way that it's the way that it's wired, and 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 how how uh, it actually splits the signal when you go in, so you have an analog analog uh, through, right. and then the signal that goes to the reverb mm -hmm. sound in it, there's a hard limiter on that. So if you turn on boost pedals, it doesn't get washy. Right. So the limiter right. stops that. Uh, and that's something that I don't know of any other, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know of any other uh, reverb pedal that does that. Yeah, offhand, I really don't either. And just and just the whole separation of, you know, clean and, and you yeah. know, basically a built-in mixer. Yeah, I mean, exactly. which is, you know, which is brilliant yeah. for guitar and, reverb, definitely. Yeah, and the and the, the not getting washy thing yeah. was was key yeah. to me cuz I yeah. for the worship stuff, the RV6 if you boost into it, yeah. it, it does get washy, but right. more washy, I better. Bet it, man. More modulated reverb, more worship. It's great. Exactly. Uh, but this is uh this is really good because it doesn't it doesn't right. do that. So that's cool. very cool. So then we go out of that, yep. um, and then we go um, back to the back here where we've got the EP booster. Oh, so now, your EP booster is last. The EP booster is last, and I've had a lot of conversations with people mm -hmm. about about where they use their EP boosters, right. and almost ninety percent of them always use it like first in sure. line, and it's really common. Yep. What I what I like the EP booster for is I have it on all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's turned all the way off. Mm -hmm. So, by de there's a switch in here mm -hmm. that you can uh, default from the factory. Mm -hmm. When it's turned all the way off, it's still a 3 dB boost. So it's Perfect. just a subtle right. boost. Right. Because I don't want to like hammer the front of the right. amp. Right. Right. Um, but I want to. I want to hit a little bit harder, and you get a little bit more saturation out of it. The color of this thing is yeah. awesome. Phenomenal. So I think of it like like a tone conditioner. Yep, that's exactly know? it, man. It's like, yeah. well, it's it's the front end of an EP3, basically. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that, and man, uh, originally, the lot that's the way a lot of guys were using it, as into the front end of their amp, just yeah. kind of fattening it up, you know, giving it a little extra boost. Yeah, and I the reason I like it last is because, um, like I already talked about, the Tumnus, SL Drive, all that stuff, right. it sounds so great. Right. I don't, if I put it before it, then I'm boosting into it. I'm getting more gain, more saturation, which does sound cool. Right. There's absolutely nothing right. wrong with that. 
but not I, what you're I, going for. It's not what I'm going for. Yeah. So I, I prefer it after drives. I have another big pedal board, real big one. We're not going to discuss because it's, it's ridiculous. Let's not. Yeah. Why are we um, discussing? But but we I do. I, I have, I have an EP right booster now. on that, and it's after the drives. Okay, we're done. Okay. Um, all right, so. Yeah, um, and, and so, okay, so another key thing here is all this is going into the front end of the amp, right? It is. It's all in the front yeah. of the amp. And, okay. And so I, I use uh, Venus Dew, mm -hmm. um, and I also have, uh, um, I've got a custom Vibrolux reverb, an old okay. reissue yeah. that I will use occasionally right. too. But right. the, these amps have tons of headroom. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't, I'm not really concerned about, you know, running delays and birds in the front end of sure. it. Sure, sure. Uh, so I, uh, I do primarily use the Venus Dew. Um, and instead of, I actually quit using microphones probably six or seven months ago. I, I, when I bought these rock racks, these yeah. mini rock racks. Yeah. I cannot say enough good things about these. I know. Those are so dialed in, man. Cool. So Let's yeah. plug this thing in and listen to it. Okay. So we're plugged in, ready to roll. First thing in, I guess we're, uh, the EP booster is always right. on. Like oh, I it's said. always on. Okay. It's always great. on. Great. So with nothing else on, yeah. uh, this is just, this is just a clean tone. Uh, into the amp. Sounds good. Yeah. I'll never forget the first time I heard the clean, a clean Rivera. Mm. All right. So, uh, so that's just the EP. Um, so we got the SP right uh -huh. here. And I fall in and I love compression. This is one of my favorite ones when I do yep. like compression, but yep. sometimes I'll, I use it, other times I don't. Yeah. But the SP, it's great. does what it's supposed yeah, to do it yeah, compresses it i use yeah. it very subtly right. when i do use it right uh and then my tumness and the tumness it, the thing the reason i love it so much it's just sounds to me like an amp just about to break up yep you know it just does that so so well lots of dynamic yep, head lots of head available room, Does the yeah. thing. Um, the SL drive, mm -hmm. uh, it's like marshally sounding, right. crunchy. Right. Another right. flavor. Yep, another flavor. And I use it gained down mostly, but yeah. gained up it sounds great too, but yeah. I'm not, I mean, I don't, I'm it's not, not much of a high gain yeah. player, so. Bingo. Yeah. Phase 90. Lush. Mm. Super Lush. chewy, man. Super chewy. Ch super chewy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's get a zoom, a close up of that one. <laughs> Does yeah. the phase thing, baby? Yeah. MXR pedals too. I I got a lot of MXR on here. MXR pedals are so so good. They're every single one's good. They don't make a bad one. I know. They're all reliable. They're gonna. They you could throw it through the washing machine probably, mm -hmm. and it would still work. I mean, and they, it, man, and they yeah. do. It's as advertised. If it oh, says yeah. it does this, that's what it does. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And all the guys at MXR too are yeah awesome. killer man. Yeah. So uh, here's the trim. I told you it was good. Like butter. Mm hmm Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so the the delay and the verb. We were already listening to those, but right. I typically it, that's about it yeah. on the delay. Yeah. 
slap back. I leave it on all the time. That's why I didn't really put it in the loop. Not like it's hard to access anyways, but right. uh, I didn't put it in the loop um, because I don't ever turn it off. The yeah. pedals that are in the loop are the only pedals I, you know, actually actively turn on and off. Right. Um, and then the the verb to, uh, uh, I usually have the, the plate or the spring setting. Yeah. Right now it's on the on the plate. Yeah. But um, just subtle. Mm -hmm. you just know. enough to give some air around. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those are on all the time. Occasionally uh, with the Echoplex, because uh, I have the tap tempo um, right. here set up for it. Right. Uh, depending on what song we're doing, if it needs a little bit more ambience around it, um, I'll run it here like this, turn the volume down and the sustain up a little bit. And then I've got that. <laughs> Not a lot, yeah. but it gives it a little harmonic cocoon. Right. Harmonic cocoon. I don't know. It wraps itself around the note, and it's beautiful. Sure. It's like a, it's like a note burrito. Uh, yeah. A note burrito? You get a note burrito. I've never it. heard of that. Did yeah. you coin that term? I just did. No, just, like, note just like harmonic cocoon, we've got note burrito. I think That just... could be a band name. Don Carr and the note burritos. Yeah. There you go. Dude, yeah. hire me. A burrito note. You can be a burrito note. I'm a burrito note. You that are. could be our fans. You are. Burritos. So that's that. Oh, I didn't didn't talk about the, the wah here. Let me scoot up a little bit. Yeah. Um, the, the wah is just most, the only, the only time I ever use wah is if I'm in the middle of like a really big solo and you want to, you know. Right. Make, take it up the next take, level. Take the same riffs you've been playing all night long, mm -hmm. and you want to make people think that you're playing different riffs. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, you just use right. wah, and then. Well, because you, you only, I mean? you know, I mean, you're only playing four riffs a night anyway. I right? only have four. There's only four riffs I know typically. Yeah. Uh, there's a fifth one that eludes me sometimes. Yeah. But and so if, if you're I, really if you risky, add a wah pedal, you've doubled that. Now I'm eight or maybe ten. Mm -hmm. It's brilliant. Nine and a half. Yeah. Nine, yeah, nine, 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 nine and a half. half. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's this. Check this out. Tuner. Muted. Look at that. Uh, All the notes. I'm a little bit flat on a couple, but you know, what are you gonna do? Perfect. It does the it does the thing. Yeah. And this guitar, this is a, it's a 2017 traditional, mm -hmm. um, not a, it's a, not a fancy Les Paul, mm -hmm. but um, I've, I've primarily my whole life been a Tele guy. Right. Well, right. I started playing Strats. That Telecaster I got, it was the first Tele I bought when I actually started working here at Sweetwater yeah. as like a gift to myself. Uh, and it became my number one guitar yeah. quickly. Oh, and yeah. I love the, love that. Uh, so I've primarily always been a Tele and I played this guitar a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. It was out of stock here at Sweetwater, and it was just, I don't know, it was one of those things, I'm sure any guitar player here has that, where you play guitar and you're like, this is my guitar. Yep, yep. And this, that, that, that's what this is. So it weighs a ton, it's ten, probably 10 pounds, I think is what it is. I've never had it set up, it's straight from the factory, um, and it stays in tune just as good as my telly. Wow. And it, it wow. just, it's so good. It's got burst bucker one and twos, they're low output. Um, doesn't have push pull stuff in it at all. Mm -hmm. It's fifties wiring, and it just it does the Les Paul thing. It man. sounds like a Les Paul. I, I love love this guitar. So and man, it sounds great. It also has that kind of chirpy thing too that I know that yeah. is a big part of you know what your ear wants to hear, man. Mm -hmm. and, and it really does that. Yeah. But yet it's not. It but it still retains the Les Paul character yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So a little yeah. bit, a little bit meatier, yeah. a little bit higher output. Right. Not much right. actually, but right. um, I feel whenever I play this guitar. Mm -hmm. Which has been more and more often. Yeah. I always feel a little bit guilty because my my oh. my telly's sitting in the gig bag and I'm just like. I feel like you're cheating on it. I know, as if Ooh. it has feelings and cares at yeah. all, which it probably doesn't. I, I mean, it 100 percent doesn't. Yeah. Because it's a piece of wood. <laughs> but uh, you yeah. say that. <laughs> you, do you know for sure? You don't know that. I don't know for sure. Okay, I mean, we're I've never. We're just taking yeah. an educated so, guess here. Anyway, that's this guitar. That's that yeah. guitar. The, these both these guitars mean a lot to cool. me, and uh, cool. they're they're great. So okay, so now the lights are dim. Okay, we got, so the, we got the mood set. Show us, show us. All right, so I have two, 17 inch, LED strips nice. RGB. Nice. Uh, that are from Temple Audio that I put on either side of the board, so I can have a little light show. Yeah, you got ground effects, man. I got nice, ground dude. effects, and I can guarantee you, nobody in the audience cares at all um so yeah power this whole board is powered by uh an eventide power factor 
oh. uh, Power Factor 2. Mm. Um, and I know it's on a Voodoo Labs board, and I'm using an Eventide power supply, and I'm so oh sorry. Oh, my goodness. Brand mixing. I, we uh, can't brand, brand mix. No, no, no. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> but I just had the power supply. Yeah. You know what well, I mean? it, was, it was an extra that I had, yeah. so I was like, why not? And yeah. I, um, to power all of this, I've split every output on that. Nice. power supply yeah. so i used it as like as much as you could i used it and if, if a pedal could run at higher voltage uh that this power supply has uh nine or 12 volts yeah on every out yeah so if it could run at higher voltage i'm running at a higher voltage right. the, the lights included because yeah. they're a little bit brighter yeah so nice man so yeah. that's well, that yeah again the whole purpose driven factor of this whole thing is it's like you had a problem you needed to solve it you wanted to put it in a certain size mm -hmm. package Everything matters. Yeah. All the way down to the cables, which you're using the EBS cables, right? EBS yeah. cables. Oh, man. I, yeah. I'm so glad that you remembered that. Yeah. So, uh, so the EBS cables, th this is the only, the only reason this board could exist is because of EBS cables. Yep. We used these at the... Uh, when we built the yeah. world's largest pedal right, board, right. I was all a part of those that. Were all those bazillions of cables were all yeah, yeah, EBS yeah. Cables. yeah. yeah. My, uh, myself and a, a colleague of mine right. helped build those. Yeah. Uh, we built, we used those, and there wasn't a single failure in any of it. Now, yeah. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not that amazing to say, oh, these cables work because that's what they're intended to do. Right. But we had like a thousand cables or some stupid <laughs> yeah, amount. Some ridiculous and amount. Every and single one, every there one wasn't a worked. single one that yeah. was DOA. So, Which is great. Man. Yeah, I think that's a testament to yeah. these cables, and, yep. and they're great. Yep. So, uh, one last thing, too, the, the size of it. You, you, play, you play around here quite often, yep. too. You'll know a lot of the venues are small. Mm -hmm. I didn't go out to make like the smallest pedal board I could with many pedals. And the, right. That wasn't my intention. The reason I did it is because a lot of the venues we play at are just, they're dinky. I mean, we got nine people crammed into this little tiny space. Right. I don't have room for a big pedal board. So uh, you'll notice all the cool labels. I need to give a shout out to Lynn Fuston. Mm. He's, he's a he's label a, master. Label master. That dude labels everything. He labels his socks, his spoons. Yeah, left and right. He right? La left and right. The sock spoons. left, sock, sock oh, no, right. No, left and right socks. Right? Oh, yeah, left and right yeah, spoons. Yeah. yeah. No, that dude is, he labels yeah. everything. Yeah. But so I, I labeled that. And, nice uh, touch. Yeah. And I even put my wife's, uh, my wife's name, and my daughter's name on my, on my Telecaster with my uh -huh. Dymo labeler. Uh -huh. Brittany yeah. in Seattle. So awesome. Yep. Awesome. Awesome testament. Andrew, thank you so much, yeah. man. This has been a pleasure, man. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, thank you. It was, it was, uh, it was great. I'm glad I got to share this with you yeah. guys. Hey, thanks for watching What's on Your Pedal Board. If you have any questions about any pedals at all, make sure to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer, a guy very much like this, or maybe this guy. Maybe. It could yeah, be me. Yeah, hopefully I don't so. Know. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like these, or start at Sweetwater for all your music, instrument, and pro audio needs.